shining above us Then I just want to be with you Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today it's kind of a sad video because we're gonna be saying goodbye to the boys. Yes, Mr. Cow, Mr. Black and Mr. White are leaving the farm and they're going to their forever home. In case you're confused about this whole idea, they were supposed to stay in the farm until the end of June, beginning of July. They were going to be pets, Mr. Cow and Mr. Black, and Mr. White was going to go as a herd sire. However, in the end, things ended up working out some other way, and they, uh, the boys ended up all being banded and all being pets in a local home, which is, I say local because it's in the same county, but it's not so really close to us. So before they went to their forever home, we gave them baths, and I... Um, I'm gonna show you this but it was just the cutest thing ever they were still small enough to fit in a somewhat small sink in my kitchen so I gave them a good bath and they loved it especially mr. black he really enjoyed the water I gave them a bath with really hot water you have to understand that baby goats really get cold very very easily and they're not like dogs that you can let them outside and be try to dry up in the Sun maybe when they're older you could do that but right now I had to use um, a hair dryer and make sure that they were completely dry before before moving them outside I also had to band them and that was my first time banding so of course I didn't I wasn't gonna do a tutorial or anything but following all the tutorials and all of the advice from mentors I did it by myself my daughter helped me with that and everything was perfect and none of them even cried when that happened and I well, somebody told me if they're not crying when you are banding them because they're in pain, you know, they could be crying for other things, but if they're not in pain when you're banding them, then that's probably a good job. I made sure that they didn't have their teeth stuck in it, and they were already 10 weeks at the point that I banded them because after doing much research, I found out that it's better to leave them a few weeks longer if you suspect that they are just small for the breed or if they're gonna be pets because you know they're just the runt or whatever the case may be it's better to wait a few more weeks they typically don't have the drive to breed yet if they're not you know if their hormones haven't kicked in all the way or if they are not um, you know showing any signs of wanting to breed it's perfectly safe to leave them it's actually advised to leave them a few weeks longer and do it around 12 weeks so in the future they have less chances of developing some kind of um uh, i can't remember the name but it's a urinary calculi that's what it is so basically when they get kidneys when they get stones and they can't pass them now that can totally happen but by leaving them a few weeks more you help them develop the urethra a little bit more giving them more space in case that something like that happens that's what I read that's what I thought it'd be a smarter idea to do with my boys because you know Mr. White was a little bit more ahead of his brothers but Mr. Cowell and Mr. Black they were just little and uh, I mean his testicles their testicles were so so tiny and it really wasn't a hard job to do it even at 10 weeks old 
For Mr. White, he was a little bit more developed, so it did, um, he was, you know, I had to maneuver them inside the pliers just to make sure that both were in and everything was in place before releasing the band. Now for banding the boys, I also gave them the anti-toxin, anti the tetanus anti-toxin, which is something that when I went to the feed store to grab the stuff that I needed, uh, it was recommended to me. Now, the boys had their CD and T, and Athene did as well, but it was recommended to me, and I think the antitoxin is about $5 at our local feed store, so for $5, I would just give them half of ML for them, and that would help them protect immediately from any kind of tetanus, and you know that as their little sack starts to dry up, they have something that it's closing and them being able to sit on the ground maybe on top of their own pee or poop or whatever you know how goats are they have an entire yard to go and lay down in and then they sit on their own poop so I decided to give them that and that was what I did before I banned them. I gave them the antitoxin. Uh, I did a better job than with a CDNT, I have to say. And I gave them on the top instead of doing it under the arm because um, I've read that that's another spot where you can do it. And to me, it was much easier to do it in that spot. So it worked out pretty good. I trim their hooves, I brush them, I dry their hair, and they look very, very fluffy and so sweet and cute. And their new owners came at night, that night, and picked them up. I... I was having a really busy weekend so I ended up doing everything that same Saturday before they were picked up. I really didn't think we were going to be able to meet with the new owners that day but it actually worked out and um, the kids went home. Um, they have uh, three boys if I'm not remembering incorrectly there they have three little boys and the mom was super super excited to keep them as pets you know mr. black mr. white and mr. cow they were all so very sweet they would come up to you they want to be pet they'd give you kisses they chew your hair I mean there's nothing more adorable than you know sweet baby goats so I'm sure that um, that kind of um, encourage them to keep them together and have a better um, you know transition because they were all bonded and I'm sure they're gonna have so much fun with their new owners and their new farm however Athene is having a really hard time and she's missing very much the boys um, it really is heartbreaking to see her go through it because uh, at the time last year when we kept the twins and we kept Taz, they were kind of um, a little trio that would spend so much time together and you could see them like they had their own tree house in their yard. You can go back to my videos and watch the, that. If not, I'm gonna click a, put it on the top of the screen so you can click on it. But it was just, um, it was sweet. 
and when Taz had to go with the boys, you know, the girls missed him, but he had the other boys and the twins had each other. And I felt like the transition wasn't so hard. But now for Athene, that is a very sweet girl and loves to be around other baby goats, it's been hard. She's been a little bit lost. Um, she you know it's barely started to play with the twins like they chase each other and they fight each other and they do things like that but it's just been really hard to separate and there was this other night that i came home and clara was giving the the saddest i i can't even explain it i wish i'd had a camera to record it but it would break your heart I came home one afternoon after running errands and I thought one of the goats was dying. Um, there was this loud but very sad cry that I've never heard in my entire life and it was so obvious that something was really really wrong that we all run to the goat's pen and we're like something is someone is in trouble and I thought maybe somebody got caught in something it stuck to something and you know and that happened before like Taz was trying to eat one of the bungee uh, hooks and he got it stuck inside his mouth and that's it was a similar cry but you know never heard of that and then I look at Clara and it was just Clara crying and I know she was okay. She was eating and crying at the same time. She was drinking water and crying at the same time. And it was just so sad to see her go through it. But that was the second or third day after the boys were gone. And I feel like Clara by now, she is kind of um, getting used to it. Like every time Athene goes and nurses, she kind of smells her like, oh, are you still my child? Are you still here? but i wanted to mention that because i'm it never you know it, this is the first time that we're selling baby goats um, because we've kept them in the past so never seen a mom go through this but it was so heartbreaking and you know when annabelle when we had to separate annabelle from tass uh, they could see each other they're in different pants but they could see each other and i can tell you that annabelle was very very loud but very very annoyingly loud like meh, meh, meh. and clara was giving this long dragged sad and almost like pitiful um, cries that I just never seen that or heard anything like that in my entire life. So it, it was sad. It was just sad. But thankfully now things are getting back to normal. Athene is starting to play with the twins. They're chasing each other and sometimes the twins are doing something else because they're not baby goats and they're not in the playful stage anymore. But sometimes Athene goes around by them like trying to see if one of them would go and chase her and they could run around the pen. And um, I think it's just a bonding process that it's starting and I'm sure they're going to get there sometime. But right now they're not there yet and still Athene is very lonely and comes to me and kind of wants pets wants to sit on top of me she's just you know she's just going through it and missing her brother so Mocha is still hanging on to those babies today is day 145 for her so she should have her babies anytime uh, she lost her mucus plug which means absolutely nothing because they could lose it a month before but basically it's the protection uh, from the outside world to the babies lots of things happening I am truly crossing my fingers for some doughs from Mocha and the cross with Rocky to see what they produce compared to what Clara produced. I wish that we could raise some little girls from Mocha and Rocky this time and that Athene will have somebody, you know, to play with, like half a, a half sister? Yeah, kind of like that, um, through Rocky's side. So. Anyways, and that is what's happening today around here. That's what's been going on in the last few days. 
thank you so much for being here today. If you enjoy the content, please remember to subscribe, like the video, and ring the notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free